Is it time for Shane's special break? <laughs> yeah. Gotta go. <laughs> we'll wait. We'll I wait. come back and we'll it's like. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bepperdy. Oh, hey, why am I here? <laughs> well, Shane, that's because I have taken over and I have decided that this Bepperdy will be all about. Bummers! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bummer man, 64. That's right. Ian always trying to bring down a good time. So we have uh, devised a Bepperty game full of things that may, may, or, may or may not bum you out. Uh, for me, I think it just, it just grounds me in reality. It doesn't make me sad. I'm just like, yeah, that's the way it is. Uh, so the first category, we have cute and cuddly. That is all uh, sad animal facts. Oh, no. Cool. Body oddy oddy, and I'm not gonna sing it because you know copyright claiming. Which is, is a bummer. All, it is, yeah, a, it is bummer. a bummer. Uh, uh, yes. It's all about weird sad body stuff. Dope. Meal prep, sad food stuff. Houston, we have a problem. We'll be all about space. Cool. Oh boy. And sad trombone noise will be about um, civilization bummers. Well, there's a lot of those. Yep. Yeah. Ongoing, really. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really <laughs> kind of never stops. Racking so. up those points. <laughs> Who here had the most recent bummer? And they'll go first. <laughs> well, yeah, it's Damien. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know what everyone else is like. Damien had double COVID. Back so. to back COVID yeah. quarantines, baby. Yeah. Okay, so Damien, you go first. Oh man, let's go meal prep for 50. I do love me some delicious food. Don't ruin it for me. Some ranch dressing is dyed with the same ingredient found in A, sunscreen, B, bleach, C, light bulbs, or D, asphalt. And we have Noah. Uh, I'm just going off of the smell and taste. It's gotta be sunscreen, right? It is sunscreen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that nice. is right. It's everyone's favorite. Titanium dioxide. Wow. Oh, God. I mean, it's only one parts titanium and, and two parts di uh, o uh, oxygen. And you, so. make, you make dioxide, sort of. Uh oh, I made <laughs> dioxide. Thing. Noah? Uh, you know what? I'm a fan of space. Let's see, Houston, we have a problem 50. I lost my status as a planet before I could even make an orbit around the sun. Who am I? And we have Damien. There could very much be another one I don't know about, but my guess is Pluto. It is Pluto. Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, because yeah. it's it probably takes forever, forever to get yeah. on the sun. Yeah. yeah. Did you know they are they did suspect that there is now a planet beyond Pluto that orbits the sun because mm. mathematically that's the only thing that makes sense um, because of the specific pull between I think it's Neptune and where Pluto would be. Like there's another further one. Anti bummer. That's very cool. However, 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 it's full of disease. Yeah. Disease. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. made it's a of COVID. <laughs> it's literally a Welcome ball. Welcome to Anthraxia. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damien. Uh, let's get, uh, I mean, let's get cute and cuddly for Fitty. Which of these animals can't jump? A, goats. B, zebras. C, elephants. D, buffalo. Ooh, and we have Shane. I'm gonna say elephants. That is correct. Yeah. Wow. Woo! 50 points to you, sir. Great. Did you guys hear about the elephant that, that trampled a lady and came back to lady the funeral? 200 kilometers away, trampled a lady, found her funeral, whipped her out of her casket, whipped her around, stepped on her, and then fing left. I don't know what she did. Do you want me to host? How much of that is real? That's all of it. That is in fact real. It's Wait, circulating what? on the internet, I'm assuming what? it's real. What? You missed yeah. Twitter for one day and that's what's I read the Reddit yeah. headline, so it's real. Do you follow that one? Snuffimals? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> just, it's really just like animals tearing each other apart. Yeah. Yeah. There was like a deer that had another deer's head in its antlers. <gasps> yeah, it was gnarly. Is that for 200? Anyway. Uh, I got Shane. it. Uh, let's do a uh, sad trombone noise for 50. Unfortunately, languages all over the world are going extinct. Have more or less than 500 languages gone extinct? And we have Damien. Absolutely more. That is correct. It is 537 languages that have gone extinct. Uh, Damien. Um, I guess to stick with theme, let's let's try body. Audi Audi for the first time. Surprise, you probably have these creepy crawlies living in your eyelashes. And we have Noah. 
Uh, what are just like mites? That is correct. That's yeah. mites. Oh, chill. Well done. <laughs> yeah. um, they mites. are known as dermadex mites. They're only a third of a millimeter long and totally clear, but they're still there. <laughs> We likely have this in all, all of us. You have them. Yeah, they're like on your skin and stuff. Too. I mean, eyelashes are to wow. keep dust things out, so I'm assuming, yeah. Oh, so when I kiss someone, you know, do you we know, like bugs They're, on they're on my eyelashes, just like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> You're making this too fun. You're that, supposed to be scared. Dude, my OCD meds are working. I don't give a shit about the bugs <laughs> on my eyes. It's, <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's do it. We're going to do a Bodie Odie Odie 100. As you get older, you start to shrink. Do men or women lose more inches? We got Tommy. Women. That is correct. Sorry, ladies, you're small. Yep. And, uh, <laughs> it's also because women are more susceptible to conditions like osteoporosis. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Hey, well that one didn't, that's not Which, for us, so they can be bad. I've heard weightlifting oh, is so actually I was actually really wanting great. to talk to you about yeah. empathy. Yeah. Um, What's that? So, um, <laughs> apparently weightlifting, my mom talks about this a lot, that weightlifting like. Like if you, how you just how hang tall is your mom? Well, she's <laughs> five foot four, but I, I mean like. How tall does she used to be? <laughs> She used to be 6'10". <laughs> I'm definitely her son. <laughs> okay, Tommy. Hi, right, let's do cute and cuddly for 100. Okay. Let's, let's get... You're not short, sure, you're just 80. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm not short. I'm 90 years old. Which of these animals is not known for eating their young? A. Rabbits. B. Deer. C. Hamsters. D. Scorpions. Damien. Deer. Yeah. That is correct. Oh, bummer. I've pet a baby deer and it, it, it noticeably wasn't eaten, so. Yeah. Uh, Damien. Go I'm go. interested in the meal prep for 100. Every time you eat a fig, it is likely you're also eating which dead bug? And that is Shane. Um, I'm gonna go with maggots. Wrong, Noah. Like a fig spider, little tiny fig spider. Fig spider. <laughs> nope, Damn. Tommy. I don't know the exact type of bug, but there was a fig tree in the last place I lived, and there are those iridescent green beetles. So I'm gonna say beetles or a beetle larvae. Wrong. Okay. Jeez, none of y'all know this, Damien. I'm gonna try. Um, I'm going to say uh, aphids or some kind of um, the little green guys, like spider mites. Pikmin. Spider mites. Mm. You know, I'm gonna say spider mites. No, I'm sorry. It's much worse than that. It is wasps. What? Really? You yeah. said that'd be obvious. Oh, you didn't know? Y'all didn't know that? What? Well, obviously. What? Yeah. It's it listed you never on the back that... of Fig Newtons. Yeah, right there. You never heard that like wasps, like like Fig Newtons and stuff are like full of wasps? We've all heard Not of hornets once. and pears. Okay. But... <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so figs are pollinated by fig wasps, which huh. can mistakenly die inside and then are absorbed by the fig. Like Jesus. Absorbed. Yeah, it's kind of like a symbiotic relationship. Did you ever get the green beetles like just all f each other all over your fig tree? No. What the that might just what be your house. What was going thing? on? No, because yeah. we're from the southeast, so we got all sorts of bugs that like mm, they're yeah. not yeah. gonna this go. This was in cicadas. California. This was uh, in the last really? house that I just lived in. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I'd go wow. outside and it was just like a shiny green tree just, because just they're all making like beetles. Wow. Horny. Wow. I guess. You had a big... Oh yeah. Oh, dad, Jumbo noise one hundred, please. True or false? Studies show that we think we're uglier than we actually are. Noah. I don't know why, I'm gonna say false. It is false. Oh, yeah. In yeah. a series of studies, researchers mm. showed that we see ourselves as better looking than we actually are. Yeah, that just felt oh. like more of a bummer to think that yeah. you're better That's looking than you really are. That's an all around thing that people tend to think they're more capable oh, yeah. than they are. Yeah. And may I just say, all of you are hideous. Thank you. Was that the same thing as like the TikTok trend where people were seeing themselves mirrored so they could see how others saw them and then uh, they were like crying because they're like, that's I'm evil, see me. Like, was that, is that the same kind of concept? I guess, I guess it's similar. I don't know. Yeah, Be related. No. <laughs> Ian, let's do Houston. We have a problem for 100. Because of zero gravity, astronauts have to use leg restraints when doing what? Shane. Taking a dump. That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> Let's clap for that. He's trying to poop in your don't, legs. Don't they use wear leg restraints for almost everything though? Like even sleeping and stuff. See, I would. Wait, think is that a picture of it happening? They have a Dyson toilet, so you just. Okay. Shoot. okay. <laughs> okay. 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 You ever <laughs> one of those mail shoots at the the bank? <laughs> All the time. All right. Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, I got some going for you. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys are having way too much fun. You're supposed to be bummed out. All right. Uh, now that we're halfway through, let's do a quick point check-in. Currently, we have Shane sitting at 150 points. Ooh, nice job, idiot. Nice, because it's your shirt. Damien, you are at 200 points. Until death, <laughs> that is the shirt. 
Noah, you are at 200 points. Woo! Princess Mononoke, it's a shirt. And Tommy, you are at 100 points. Cool. A little guy. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, now you have to define what it is. It's just a little guy. Oh, okay. Uh, it's just a male. Shane? Let's do cute and cuddly for 150 points. True or false, mice can tell when other mice are sad. And that's Tommy. I'll say true. That is correct. Okay. Oh, wow. Which is great, because, you know, that's where they do a lot of science experiments with mice. Yeah, every How experiment they do more makes me feel like worse for the mice, where they're like, actually, mice have feelings and, and they can, can do scream. math yeah. and they can scream. Yeah. How did you find that out? <laughs> yeah. It's even sadder when you realize that makes them even better test subjects. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's just oh wow. What it oh. is. Oh. Ian, you've got some competition because yeah. we're, we're bumming ourselves know, out yeah. over here. We got a good crop of people. Uh, let's do uh, sad trombone for 150. The FBI estimates that there are how many serial killers in the US at any given time. That's Shane. Shane. Roughly 200. No. Damn it. Uh, Tommy. I'll say 50. Ooh, yes. Uh, actually, what? there is between 25 to 50. Wow. Okay. Oh, well, well that's done. actually great news compared to what I thought. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. clicked that so quick, it was scary. I could have sworn I read that it was roughly 200 a couple years ago. Wow. We all read that it was 50, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tommy? Uh, let's do meal prep, 150. That natural vanilla flavor you love may actually be <sighs> castorium, which is A, whale pee, B, spiderweb serum, C, snake venom, or D, beaver juice. Damn it! Oh man, Damien was ready with that one. I knew this one already. Uh, however, Shane has dinged in first. I'm just going with beaver juices. because God damn it. Nuts. It is beaver <laughs> juices. <laughs> and... Damien gave me the context clue of like, yeah, I'm like uh, it's beaver castorium, juices. Yeah. Castorium is a yellowish liquid from the castor sacs of mature beavers, which they use in combination with urine to scent mark their territory. You knew that? Wow. Yeah. How? Because I like food, and there's a difference between <laughs> pure vanilla extract and yeah. valanin, which is the mm. false vanilla flavor, and it's just like, oh, you don't even need to be fancy. What's the difference? That's the difference. Is yeah. it really cheaper to go get vanilla beaver juices? Vanilla than is get... extremely expensive. Oh, okay. Vanilla is one of like oh. because you can't expensive. just harvest it from the bean. You have to let it sit in alcohol in order to like the beaver. Get the... Well, yeah, probably yeah, that's the beaver. <laughs> Shane. All right, uh, let's go with body Odie Odie for 150. <laughs> let's go for Bordy Ordy Ordy. You waste about 10% of your day every day doing this. We have Noah. Just doing nothing, just <laughs> staring. No thoughts. No. Uh, Shane. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say uh, 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 peeing or <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, man. That's what I was gonna say. Holy crap. No. Dang, two and a half hours. I thought I was jerking it, but... 10% yeah. <laughs> of your day? No! Okay. Really? It's most people. Uh-huh. I don't know what most Someone people are doing. Else. Oh, is it time for Shane's special break? <laughs> yeah. Gotta go. We'll wait, we'll I wait. I come back and we'll I'm like... <laughs> is Damien? I was going to guess scrolling on your phone. No. Tommy. Hmm. If it's not pissing sh and it's not fapping. It's not fapping. And it's not doing nothing or whatever. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> I, that's gotta be way more. Yeah, For probably. me, it's at least 50%. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like always in the bathroom, so it's gotta be something less frequent than doing that. I don't think it's right, but pissing. You're wrong. Okay. Um, no, I'm not letting you guys get this Come anymore. No, no, no. no your nails is it eating? Great. Itching. Oh, thank you. It is so blinking. That's not a waste Blinking. of time. That's not a bummer. Yeah, it's not a waste That's of time. That's interesting. I'm and keeping I my eyes wet. I have a tick where I blink too much, so mm. I feel excluded. Take wow. that. I deserve bonus points. Yeah, like half points. But my meds have been helping. Uh, Shane. All right, let's, let's, let's clean up the 150s. Houston, we have a problem for 150. In just one year in space, an astronaut will drink 730 liters of recycled Tommy. Recycled? I'm gonna reuse my last answer and say piss. There are and, two things. And like I'm assuming like wa like water that they use for for stuff for showering. Damien, damn. Um, I'm gonna say pissing and specifically uh, recycled like wastewater, like for teeth brushing. Like they have to filter that. Well, shit that's kind of what I just said. Mm. Oh well, you said water for stuff. Nah. <laughs> so okay, if that was no. what Tommy said, then maybe poop water, pee water, and poop water. Nope. Noah. 
Oh, that'll be piss, and then I'm gonna do like breath. Like they just gather the general water in the air. Oh. That's what it is. Breath. Just the breath. You breathe into a hole, and then you drink from a different hole. I mean, no. Someone's seen it. Yeah, I mean, stone. you're like, <laughs> I'll just say close, but no. Shane? I mean, is it recycled piss and spit? No, you all are so close. It is urine and sweat. Uh, oh, that urine. makes. I yeah. mean, maybe wait watch, a minute, maybe wait a minute, wait a minute. Doom. How do they collect the sweat though? I don't know. I mean, is I'm it through a, the air? I'm Are they filtering the air? All right, Shane. All right, cute and cuddly for 200. All right, finish off this animal. Mm. <laughs> the, the challenge is finish off this animal. <laughs> and Tim's like, please, I'm sorry. <laughs> Described as the world's loneliest, this solo animal emits a sound like none other. What type of animal is it? And we have Shane. Blue whale. It is a whale. Well done. I don't, is it a blue whale? It's a blue whale. There's one that doesn't emit the right sound, so it's like You're correct. Uh, really? This is the world's loneliest whale, also known as 52 hertz, after the frequency range in which it sings. Has been solo swimming for decades and speaking in a whale language no one else seems to know. <sighs> the only emo whale. All right. <laughs> Bodie Odi Odi for 200. Bodie <laughs> Odi Odi for 200. Pass the hot sauce. As you get older, what begins to disappear? Damien. Taste buds. That is correct. <laughs> and apparently that one whale. <laughs> <laughs> Damien? Uh, meal prep 200. In a 2015 random testing, what percent of hot dogs were found to contain traces of human DNA? Noah. You know, it just feels like 11%. <laughs> it just, you know what I mean? Because they're two hot dogs. I was, yeah, yeah, two hot dogs right there. Yeah. It just feels uh, like, like it's 11. 11. Oh, yeah, no. Funny, no? Bro. I'm going to say 50%. No. Wow. Shane? We'll go with a solid 26%. No. Uh, 3%. It is oh, really? 2%. Oh, wow. Oh! 2% of like hot dogs milk. contain yeah. wow. uh, human, have traces of human DNA. So, Neat. yeah, it's close enough. I'll give that to you. Thank you. That's cool. It's like my least favorite food. Well, that's fine. Bananas share like 50% of our human DNA. So maybe it's like that. Maybe hot dogs just share some of our DNA. Maybe we're related to hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we came from hot dogs. <laughs> maybe that's humans evolved from hot dogs. Did you think about that? Damien. Oh, uh, hmm. Say that trombone noise 200, please. Which pleasant natural smell is actually a distress signal? A, freshly cut grass. B, rain. C, salty ocean air, or D, rose petals. And Noah, go for it. Sorry, it's A. That is correct. It is A, uh, freshly cut grass. That nice, fresh grass smell is actually a chemical reaction that signals predators, humans. Who's letting out that Thanks. stank, the grass? No, the human. <laughs> <laughs> it's their way of screaming. My, my question though is, they're warning the other grass, what the f is that grass gonna do? Warn more It's grass. like, hey, look out! They're just like, I can't do shit. I'm grass. <laughs> the term is literally your ass is grass. Like, you're screwed, you're done. You're, you can't do anything about it. Noah. Oh, I, we, uh, guys, I think I think I gotta choose Keaton Cudley 200. In the future, the night sky will eventually be A, orange, B, filled with planets, C, completely black, or D, covered in clouds. And that is Shane. Uh, completely black. That is correct. Yep. Wow. Light pollution, right? Huh? Light pollution? No, 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 worse. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> as the Milky that? Way begins to merge with other galaxies, the night sky, uh, as we know it, will become black and devoid of stars. Also, the universe is, is constantly expanding, so the far away, um, uh, galaxies and everything will become less visible. My only argument to that is, will the Earth be around no, to no, see no. that? Probably no. But so theoretically, that's the, big, that's the biggest yeah. bummer. Honestly. The bigger yeah. bummer yeah. is yeah. that it's, it's good, the Earth is going to be destroyed. Yeah. Theoretically, the night sky uh, could be yes. uh, completely dark to an observer in our galaxy. Okay. Okay. Let's do a point check in. Salad. Currently, we have Shane at 700. Woo! Wow. Damien is at 600. Woo! Uh, Noah, you are at 400. Woo! And Tommy, you are also at 400. Okay. Yeah. 400. 
Okay, everyone. Uh, in this, you will not be wagering points. I will be ranking you on best answer. Ooh. Now, these point totals are completely, uh, were thought of way before we found your point totals right now. Um, so let me just say that first place will get 400 points. <gasps> that could be us. Wow. Second place will get 100 points. Oh my God. Third place will get 50 points. And fourth place will get nothing. Oh my God. That's a bummer. Okay. That is a bummer. Big bummer. And here is the final Jeopardy. Yeah. That's a bummer. Yeah. yeah. Just... We get a close up of that. That was a bummer. <laughs> that sucked. Here is the final Bepperty. Tell your most bummer story. Shane, you have 60 seconds. One of my first times out here, uh, I, was, I was getting ready for an audition. I went to my first acting coach and I started reading. It was for The Dark is Rising, which was a movie that came out that no one remembers. But I was, I was reading it and I, this is my first times out here and the acting coach just stops me and she goes, Shane, do you want to be an actor? And I was like, yeah. And she goes, then learn how to act. Oh! And that was one of my first days out here. <laughs> so that was a bummer. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Welcome to Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood, baby. Damien. Um, when I was maybe 16 or 17, I booked my first uh, larger budget movie. It was an MTV movie. Um, and it was pretty disorganized. I thought I was a different role until the day I showed up. And then they were like, oh no, you're this role. So I like, all the work I had done didn't really matter. Um, and there was a part where I had to be like, I was like an, you know, an asshole skater kid. I was supposed to be laughing at this dude in the costume who turned out to be a serial killer. But I was so nervous and so unprepared and I couldn't get the breath support. So every time I tried to laugh, I was like, ha 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 ha. And like, I, I we couldn't get the take. So the director was so pissed at me that in front of everyone, he was just like, Damien, ha 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 ha, like a laugh, you know, like laughing in front of the whole crew. One of which was my childhood neighbor that I grew up with that we always talked about like, you know, we're gonna both be actors one day or we're gonna both do whatever. So he was working on the crew and I was an actor and it was my first thing and I was failing. And when I came home, I told my mom and dad, I was like, I don't think this should be in my dream anymore. I don't think I should be an actor. Oh, oh cool. my God, that's a bummer. We both sucked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Noah, Damn. do you also have an actor story that you're gonna an share? Acting bummer story. You don't, ha story? You don't have to share it. Acting. I'm just. Um, that seemed to be the theme. General bummer. I think I was 13, 14 with uh, my Hebrew school. We went to go volunteer uh, at a local, um, uh, like a. a shelter for families that are kind of like in between places they can sit for like six months up to a year uh, it's like a food bank stuff like that so we we're there to uh, donate supplies and help organize stuff but also uh, kind of have a day with the children of the facility and there's probably like maybe 30 families there so it's a big room of kids there's maybe like 10 or 12 of us so we're all uh, playing around and stuff and long story short uh, we're playing with kids of different ages you know wearing different clothes and there was a kid wearing a hat um, and I said oh he's cool he's like wearing a hat he should come play with us and then uh, the room was like, oh, and I was like, oh, what? And someone was like, that's a girl. And that's the first time I misgendered someone because it, it was just like a child, like a nine-year-old kid wearing a hat and their hair was up. So I just couldn't uh, obviously make any sort of inference. But in general, obviously that's when I learned. Uh, and I made a little nine-year-old girl in the shelter uh, feel both alone and embarrassed in front of all of her friends. Damn. Oh. Yeah, that's, a that's what I did, big old bummer. That is a bummer. I tried to give them ice cream, they took it. Still sad. Still sad after ice cream. Of course. That means you ruined their life. I might yeah. have. I really might have. Okay. Tommy, you have 60 seconds. I'm gonna recycle one because there's too many There's too many on the Rolodex. Uh, so, so yeah, I got kicked in the taint when I was in middle school and it destroyed my urethra over time and so I couldn't piss for a long time and it hurt every day to piss. And so then I got a surgery and then they had to replace my urethra with my cheek. But the, the factoid that I didn't talk about is that I wore a catheter for a month, but not after, after that month, I couldn't f or get an erection for a full year. Oh! Oh. Points, please. Oh. <laughs> That's a bummer. Well, you know, in solidarity, I didn't either in that time, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if any of us were particularly like, like have Speaking of, I gotta go take <laughs> yeah. my special break. <laughs> is, that, is that kid still around? Do you need him like taken care of or like, what's up? What oh no, oh no, he wanted to be an actor, but he works for his mom's jewelry store in Florida. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Not that I can do that, life hasn't. All of you shared your bummers and, and filled me with, with um, so much. Bum? 
You, you keep me going. <laughs> you, you all keep me going with your despair, so thank you. So I will now share the results. I believe it's going to have to be in fourth place. It is Shane. Yeah. Aww. Fair. Fair. In third place, it is Damien. Hey! All right. 50 points for you, sir. Great. Oh, bum, bum. In second place, it is Noah with 100 points. Oh, don't and miss that And that means people. that Tommy, with his broken taint and or urethra or, you know, nether regions, Jim, you get first place, <laughs> meaning that you get 400 points, bringing you to 800 points, Yay! meaning you win Yay! the game! Don't you That's a bummer. Dare, no. bummer. That's a oh, it's bummer. Me? I'll, I'll kill you. It was for me. So if you want to see some other episodes that are a little bit less of a bummer, we got two on screen. Click this one. Click that one. Also, leave a comment down below your your bummer story. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button, and please say something nice about all of us. You say you sound like that at the end of Twilight Zone, where like the dude loses glasses, like no. I could finally f***. <laughs> it was finally time. It was time. time. No. <laughs> it was finally time.